Hello viewers, this is Evelyn of Lipa Buhai. Today is another kind of video. I will be not uh, doing um, air layering, but I will be showing you a certain kind of arbor vitae, which is called the Forever Goldie. And as you see, kind of the top of it, of this kind of tuya, is actually gold that is why they are called the forever goldie i actually bought it for like 500 swedish kronor and it's equivalent to like 50 us dollar uh, it's not cheap considering that it's you know an arbor retail by tay because if you see other arborvitae they are thuya they are actually totally green but this one is gold on the top and here in sweden it's not a lot of people who has this kind of of uh, thuya or arborvitae and this kind this is kind of a new uh, type of thuya and the reason I bought it, even if it's expensive for me, because for a Tuya like that, uh, for a 500 Swedish crown, for me, it's not cheap. And it's because I want to propagate it. But of course, now uh, when I do this video, it's already the month of September. And here in Sweden, it's already cold. So I don't advise if you live in a country where it's cold, you have this, you know, four seasons. And when it's already uh the fall or what you call uh the autumn season i don't recommend people to do air layering it's just so cold and i don't think the tree itself or any plant can really establish or develop roots when it's like this cold uh, but anyway this thuya is really really attractive and that is why i bought it and by the month of uh, april or the spring then i will be doing i will be air layering it so this one plant for 500 swedish kronor or 50 us dollar i can already like make some kind of five to six plants on it so as you see there so i can already air layer it and i actually bought two of them so i paid 1000 swedish kronor for the two of them it's crazy my friends are telling me oh my god what is that kind of arbor vitae or so yeah where it's really expensive but actually it's a new uh, a new kind or variety of athuya or arbor vitae. I have a lot of arbor vitae in my garden, but they are, you know, these ordinary ones that have green, uh, green leaves. This one can actually grow until like 10, 11 meters long. And then they are actually, they, they are actually very kind of strong type of arborvitae because they are very tolerant tolerance when it comes to the sun most arborvitae they can actually burn their top leaves this part here uh, when it's uh, very sunny uh, when it's totally exposed to the sun they can be very sensitive the other arborvitae but this one actually is more tolerant and so this is the kind of thuya or arborvitae that actually grows very long and that gold uh, forever goldie is like that the only difference is that the forever goldie are gold on the top every top of its branch are gold and that is the thing why i was being so attracted on it so we'll go back to our go forever goldie so this thuya or the forever goldie 
you can actually plant it as a solitaire. Solitaire, which means that you can plant it that way, that it's only one. So if you have it you, in your garden, if you have a small garden, you can plant this as only one plant and just let it grow. Or in a group, you can maybe plant two or three in a group because they can actually grow very tall. And uh, it's just so amazing, especially when it's sunny or even like it's kind of cloudy. And the leaves, the top of the leaves are really gold, you know. It's kind of gold fire thing. And I can actually recommend, because when I bought this, I researched all about this. It's actually very common already in a lot of places in the USA. In fact, I think it was being introduced like, you know, I don't know if I'm mistaken, not not so long time ago because Arborvitae started with all those kind of variety that are very green. Everything is green or some kind of hub is kind of silver on the top but this one is gold so when i bought it on a plant store it was only six of them it's not so plenty of them and it's because they are not cheap i mean if you buy an ordinary arborvitae on this size you may just pay for like uh, 45 swedish kroners or 50 to 50 swedish kroners and that is like you know, five dollars, five US dollar. But this one is like 50 US dollar or 500 Swedish kronor. And it's because it is gold on the top. And that is why, even if it's expensive, I just bought it because I will be air layering it. And you can produce it by air layering, just like the other ordinary Thuya or Arborvitae. So this is kind of thing where you can actually beautify, you can use it as boundary to your lot uh, and think of a boundary on your lot or group of them in your garden and especially during summer and autumn, they will have this gold top on them. Isn't it beautiful? So Forever Goldie actually is a kind of Thuya. I think it's, you know, I think it's the most, I think it's the highest priced Thuya or Arborvitae of all this kind of type. Uh, but uh, I think it's worth the price. It's because I just love looking at them. And when I sit there, when I sit there in my dining table, I, I I usually just see it and the, because of its color, it's just, you know, even if you're far from it, you actually see it immediately. And it's very common here that some, you know, we have this reindeer that can eat the, the, the bushes and plants, but this one, they are very tolerant and, and, and the, 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 the deers, seem to not eating this kind of plant and i am i'm just uh, planting this here uh, it's because so as you see here i will show you the name this is actually the name of it soya plicata forever goldie so think of having this in your garden and just you know like the whole boundary of your garden and you have that isn't it beautiful but of course you cannot buy a lot of them unless you have a lot of money if you have a lot of money and use them as boundary to your lot then of course they are so attractive but if you have a big lot and you want to use this then it will really cost you a lot of money like it can cost me you know like 10 to 20 thousand swedish kroner and that is all like you know 200 uh uh is it? I don't know if I'm right or wrong. But anyway, uh, for me, it will. It's it costs for just a thuya, but it is worth. And besides, 
only if I don't know how to air layer or market a, a soya. I don't think I will be buying this because I just find it expensive for this kind of plant. But it was worth and anyway, I can air layer. So for those two plants, I can maybe air layer around 10 to 15 plants out of it. And that is very interesting. So I am actually excited that it will be soon, you know, we're not winter yet. <laughs> and because I have something to look after and that is to 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 market or air layer this plant. So I know I've seen a lot in YouTube and I have, uh, you know, I have searched and in USA it's already a lot of people using this or buying it. But of course, a lot of people, if you want to save money, then most of them, they just buy the ordinary soya or arborvitae. Uh, but I can tell you, you can actually buy like a deed, like one or two of them. And then after that, let them grow for a while and try to just uh, market them or uh, air layer them. If you still don't know how to do it, you follow. If you're not yet my subscriber, subscribe to my channel because I have a lot of air layering uh, videos and to air layer any kind of plant it's actually the same principle it's actually the same procedure the only difference is that the plant develop the roots on a different period some plants I had already uh, marketed in fact I have a video of it I have already done an air layer or marketing to an arbor vitae like this but not this forever goldie the the green arbor vitae and uh, it took like two months two months and the roots are totally developed and I was able to transfer them in containers and I, I think I let them develop more in the containers and we'll be planting them on the ground by, by next, you know, next year. Or I don't know, maybe I can, I can already plant them now. But anyway, as far as Thuya is concerned, the color, the design, the texture of the, the, uh, the leaves, they are actually totally the same, uh, the kind of leaves they have. The only difference is the color. So it's, it's actually a plant that is very nice and I'm excited to air layer them. So if you're a person who likes gardening, you like to reproduce and clone your trees, bushes, fruit trees, Subscribe now to my channel because I'm sharing a lot of videos all about cloning plant by air layering and marketing and just listening to every step because me, I learned totally the same like, you know, searching and watching people, expert people who are doing marketing and air layering. To be an expert, you don't actually have to go to school. When it comes to this kind of things, you can learn by yourself. And the best thing of learning is doing by yourself, trying an error, take the failure as a lesson. And in that way, I will tell you, you can be an expert in air layering or marketing. Again, this is Evelyn of Liva Buhai. I hope I was able to share to you something interesting. And see you again on my next video.